The Wall by Abby Farwell Brown. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Reading by Matt Perard. The Wall. Something there is that doesn't like a wall. Robert Frost. Not like a wall? I sit above the meadow in the glowing fall, tracing the gray redoubt from square to square, which bound the acres harvest ripe and fair, and wonder if it's true. Nay, ask the sumac and the teeming vine that lean upon the boulders, the crimsoning ivy and the wild woodbine, whose eager fingers clutch the stony shoulders, the goldenrod, the aster and the rue. Ask the red squirrel with the chubby cheek, skipping from stone to stone by a quick route, his hidden hoard to seek, making the little viaduct his own. Look where the woodchuck lifts a cautious head between the rocks close by the cabbage bed. The honey-bees have built a secret hive in a forgotten chink, and there a gray cocoon is tucked away, shrouding a miracle in mauve and pink to wait its Easter day. The wall with pageantry is all alive. And I, who gaze on the dark border here, drawn like a ribbon round the pasture ways, embroidered with the glory of the year, do I not like the wall? Lo, I remember how, in days of old, my grandsire toiled with weariness and pain to dig the cumbering boulders from the mold, piled them in ordered rows again, fitting them firm and fast, a monument to last, long after his own hairy day was past. He cleared the rocky soil for corn and grain, by which his children throve to carry on the race. We live by his life-giving. I see each stone, rough like his granite face, uncompromising, stern, no slave to love, dowered with little grace grim with the hard unjoyful task of living but strong to stand the wrath of storm and time and bolts that heaven let fall built of a patriot's prime i love the wall end of poem this recording is in the public domain